Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz, and today we're going to be looking at the most dangerous place on any map. Yes, it might surprise you, but pretty much every map there is one position you really don't want to go to unless you know what you're doing. And my buddy sent me over a replay, so I'm going to be using that as an example. Okay, here he is in the IS-2. He's lower tier, which is dangerous. They've got some pretty strong hitters in the WZ-120 GFT, the Skoda T-56, the K-2. Yeah, so those are three very, very strong tanks. So when I say the most dangerous place on any map, where is it? Quite simply, I'm talking about the middle of the map or in that vicinity. Why? It should be obvious but generally speaking, heavy tanks go the heavy side and medium and light tanks go the light side. What does that mean? It means that you've got tanks going to the left and tanks going to the right. If that is the case and you get lit up as my buddy just did, you may have guns pointing at you from two different directions, one on your right, one on your left. And that means you're in a bit of a pickle because you can only face your turret one way at a time. You can only shoot one target. You don't want to put yourself in this situation unless you know what you're doing. Now, I like what my buddy did here. He gets caught on the rubble there, unfortunately, but he let his camo reset and he now pops out and is able to deal with the Skoda, taking no damage in return. Again, that light bulb went off, back behind cover. He's fine. The only danger is if you keep popping out the same position, sometimes people get ready for you but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case because tanks such as the Skoda are dealing with the heavy tanks on this side and the light tanks or medium tanks are dealing with the other tanks on that side so he's picked the perfect time to go mid-map now some maps depending on what tank you're driving and the enemy lineups yeah going mid may be your best play especially if you're in a light tank because you can get there quickly you can light up tanks if you've got a bush or a good cover and you might be able to get out or you've got protection from your teammates so you don't have to worry about that but if you don't know what you're doing i don't recommend it so far my buddy's taken zero damage that's nice he's also been able to connect with three shots so far and now he's decided to help the medium flank He's waiting to come on out here. Unfortunately, he couldn't get his camo to reset, so that's a shame. Takes one hit, but it's not the end of the world. He saw that his teammates were going to go down in a ball of flames. Nice shot in there on the WZ-120. That's definitely a target you want to take out if you can. He saw the push coming on the heavy side and went, you know what, I gotta get the heck out of here. I do not blame him. They were not gonna be able to hold. You could see it happening. And so, this is an easy target anyway. Nice shove there by his teammate, doing a little bit of extra ramming damage. And there's a tank you want to be careful of. Missed the Smasher. They have come around the rear. And since he's in the middle, it means he probably won't be the focus, especially as his camo's been reset. Aiming in, aiming in. Ah, oh, dang. I didn't think he'd be able to hit that. Uh, the IS-2's gun is very troll. Uh, you've got to be aimed in all the way, but luckily his teammate has pushed in and that's given my buddy an opportunity to be able to now take out the Smasher. So now it's 4v3. Two tanks aren't looking too healthy. My buddy, oh nice shot in there from the Stratzwagen. Good work. Yeah, that was nice. Now he's being a little bit passive here. If they could take out one more target before they make their push, I think that would make the most sense. This guy's not looking too good. Another shot in there. Nice job. Stratzwagen doing a great job. And his camo has been reset by now, so they don't know he's here. He's got to be careful, though. He will get lit up soon if he's not careful. Oh, nice shot in there. And now it's perfect. He can just swing around here and create all sorts of angles to really... Oh, he shoots the gun. That's unfortunate. Happens sometimes. And uh, he's got the carcass here to give him some cover. K2 is chasing him. Maybe not the best move uh, because it allows his teammates to go to work 
on his teammate, the G-Sor. g is down, and now it's 3v1. So as long as their team doesn't do anything silly, they've got this in the bag. And yep, yeah, see what I said about angles? This is something good players understand very, very well. They want to create angles that make it difficult for one tank or two tanks to deal with, depending on where they are. Okay, that guy's taken out, but now it's just the K2. Now, the K2 has great armor, so he does have to be cautious about that, but he's going to make a push in here. He can definitely take one hit. The question is, will he bounce? So, you're going to make sure this counts. He takes the hit, and his teammate hits him once. I think they would have won, even if he had bounced that shell because his teammate would have been able to take out the K2, probably. And so yeah, he finishes off with 3,239. Solid game if you ask me. And it illustrates the pros and the cons of going mid-map. So, what do I recommend for you guys? If you know what you're doing, do whatever you think. <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing, if you're a 40... 5%, 47% player, you're trying to get better, you don't really understand the maps and the tanks and the dynamics, stick to the sides. Go one side or the other side. Hug the corners. <laughs> don't make yourself a target early on. Yeah, But he played it well, so I wanted to illustrate that, and uh, I thought it would be helpful for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow. Snugs on Blitz.